like when other candidates go on shows and they say they're going to do this, they're, gonna, they're not pandering. They're telling you, laying out their elaborate pr- plan on what they're going to do. But it seems to you when you promise it, if I'm president, this is what I'm going to do in the first 90 days. This is what I'm going to do. My administration is going to do uh, while I'm in office. You're pandering. How do you get through to those that says, look, this is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. If I'm elected president, these are the policies and they will lead to meaningful and impactful change. Well, part of it is is just to be candid. I think that there's there's sadly a misinformation out there about yes. who I am and what I've done, because if if people are informed about fact, they will know that almost everything that I'm talking about doing as president is built on a foundation of work that I've been doing for years. Mm -hmm. If it is about economic empowerment of the black community and all communities, I've been working on that. Uh, As vice president, I am responsible for billions of dollars from big banks and big corporations, including technology companies, getting into community banks to increase access to capital for minority owned and other small businesses. If you look at my work over a period of years, my focus again on something like maternal mortality is longstanding, which directly impacts black men and black women. Right. And, 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 and the black family. If you look at the work that I am doing that is about small businesses, you know, the person who helped my mother raise us, who was a second mother to us, was a small business owner. I have always focused for such a long time on what we need to do, knowing that our small businesses are part of the culture of our communities, right? Including the economic fabric and, and strength of the community. So what I'm talking about doing right now is based on longstanding work. It's not new. But as President of the United States, part of why it is important is it is a new approach to that job. It is about a new way that is based on a new generation of leadership, that is based on new ideas, and frankly, a different experience that brings my commitment to the work I am talking about um, into being. Listen, unfortunately, I've gone viral a few times, but I've never gone viral for GLP ones for weight loss. So you probably heard about the once weekly shot that can help you lose an average of 20 percent of your weight in a year when combined with diet and exercise. But you also may have heard that out of pocket costs can be huge and figuring out insurance coverage is wild. Now, Ro is making it easier to see if you're covered for GLP ones to help you get the best price out there. Want to hear my favorite part? They'll check for free. Yep, it won't cost you a dime to find out if your insurance will cover GLP ones. 100,000 members and counting have trusted Roe to check their coverage and get the meds at the best price possible, depending on their insurance plan. Just submit your insurance card and Roe will create a personal insurance coverage report so you can understand your options. Go to roe.co slash Shannon for your free insurance coverage report. That's ro.co slash Shannon. Start losing weight sooner with GLP ones through Roe. Can you give us a breakdown of how you will allow blacks and other minorities to access capital? Because you speak yeah. a lot about capital and in order for people to become successful and have some wealth mm-hmm. is that they need to have access yeah, to that to right. get started. So that's, in fact, why I did starting um, last or earlier this year, my economic opportunity tour way before I was running for president, because I realized that so many of our entrepreneurs don't actually have the, the, that we need to do better in getting information to people about what's available to them. So for example, through the, the small business administration, there are funds available to help people create a business plan. There is resources available to help people just know how that you need to run a payroll how you need to pay business taxes. Um, part of my plan, by the way, is to simplify taxes for small businesses. I, I like to say it's, it's basically, I'm going to date myself, like, you remember the 1040s? Did you ever have to do a 1040s? Probably never. No. Okay, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, simplifying tax returns right. for people, including our small businesses. But the work that I have done and will continue to do is about knowing that we don't lack for hard work, we don't lack for good ideas, but we do lack for information 
about the help that is available. Mm-hmm. Go James and the Lakers are back putting on a show. And you know I got to get the best deal on tickets. That's why I need to tell you about my sponsor, SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more sports. I'm excited to go see the Lakers dominate the Sixers at the Crip. They put all their tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. And you know I came through for you guys. Use my code Shay Shay for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Shay Shay. So that's part of how it is going to be about increasing access to capital. Part of it is about putting more money. So I called up and got in touch with and worked with some of the big CEOs of the biggest corporations in America and said, and the big banks, that you all don't necessarily, you, you're you not there in the community where you can get a $100,000 loan to a small business. You guys deal at a different level. But those $100,000 loans for a startup will go a long way. Let's get, get those billions of dollars that you've got, put them into community banks who are in the community, who know what the community needs, what they want, what the consumers there want, and then support those small businesses. So that's the, my approach to access to capital including making sure that people um, have, again, simplifying taxes for small businesses. You know why, Shannon? Small businesses can't afford to hire a bunch of accountants yeah, they can't help and a bunch of lawyers. But that shouldn't be the reason they fail because they didn't fill out the form properly. Mm, right. right. Yes. So my approach is really understanding the the culture understanding the needs and then trying to fix problems i love fixing problems with common sense solutions and again look donald trump is never he is never going to relate necessarily to the kind of folks that i'm talking about who on the ground just need to be seen and heard and then let's fix the problems let's address the challenges to let them not just get by but get ahead and i, I want to put a fine point on this Maybe it's a new perspective. I think it is. I believe that we have had great success in bringing black unemployment down to historic lows. Yes. But for me, that's a floor. For me, that's a floor. Because what I know is that it should be baseline that everybody's working. That's not enough. People want to build wealth. Yes. And intergenerational wealth. Correct. And I want to help people do that. Right? Mm Mm-hmm. I know what folks want to be able to take a nice vacation right. from time to time, have nice Christmas gifts for their kids under the tree. And it can't just be about, well, you've got a job. Applaud me for, for what I've done for you. Right. And that's the spirit with which I do my work. Go James and the Lakers are back putting on a show. And you know I got to get the best deal on tickets. That's why I need to tell you about my sponsor, SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more sports. I'm excited to go see the Lakers dominate the Sixers at the Crip. They put all their tickets across the web in one place to make sure you're getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. And you you know I came through for you guys. Use my code Shay Shay for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Shay Shay. I saw President Trump on a, um, on a TV show and he talked about defunding the Department of Education. Yes. Um, basically, we know that's going to affect communities like us um, that don't have the resources. Mm-hmm. And then because he says he doesn't, if they talked about slavery, if they talked about slavery, which is a a part of our history. It's a, it's that a they're stain. trying to cover up. Yes. That they're trying to cover up. To talk about racism. And he said, well, what we would do if they talked about it, they wouldn't get funding. And we know what communities are going to be most impacted by non-funding. But, and understand that they want to get rid of the Department of Education and get rid of Head Start. You know whose kids are in Head Start? They want to, it, it is, and to your point, and I'm so glad you pointed this out, you know, these are the same people who basically suggested that that enslaved people benefited from slavery. The same people who are trying to ban and are banning books. Mm-hmm. And again, if we don't teach America's full history, we will never ensure that we don't right. make the same. Yes. To do those same things again. 
let's learn from that pain, that painful part of our history to make sure we don't repeat it, but not by not covering it up. Let's have an open and honest conversation about it. It happened. And the effects of it. Yes. And the present day effects of it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we both agree. I think we can all agree on this, that there is a, a, a problem with. I don't know how to the correct term. I think it's undocumented. Mm-hmm. How do we get a, how do we get a hold on that? Uh, Madam VP, how do we make sure? Because I think I've heard you say you want a path to citizenship, but we want to, you know, make sure people come in and do things properly. Yes, that's exactly right. So first of all, I have personally prosecuted transnational criminal organizations mm-hmm. for the trafficking of guns, drugs, and human beings. I have prosecuted the Sinaloa cartel, okay, the Guadalajara cartel. So I put my record up to anybody in terms of how strongly I feel about having a secure border Mm -hmm. and making sure that there is not that kind of trafficking into America. I also know that we need to put more resources at the border, which is why I supported a bill that came about, including from the most conservative members of Congress, to put 1,500 more border agents at the border, to do what we need to do to cut down the flow of fentanyl coming to, into the United States, which is killing people of every race and background. Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button, where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.